I uh, have known I wanted to be a plastic surgeon since middle school. Um, my grandmother was a speech therapist and she took care of a lot of kids who had gone through cleft lip and palate surgery. So they were born with a cleft lip or a cleft palate, had several surgeries and then came to her for speech therapy. So pretty early on I learned that the name of the surgeon that took you from that before picture to that after picture was a plastic surgeon and I really thought that was great work. Well, as I got into medical school and found out how long it takes to be a plastic surgeon, I thought maybe I would find something that took a little less time, but nothing ever, despite looking for it, nothing ever appealed to me as much as plastic surgery. I stuck with it and here I am, and it's worked out great and I love it. What we try to do at an initial consultation is to say, what brings you to the doctor today? And let the patient, in their own words, tell you what they're hoping to accomplish with plastic surgery. It may be that at the end of the consultation, we realize that the patient really isn't a very good candidate for the procedure that he or she had in mind, and we're very frank and open about that. On the other hand, happily, we may discover that they're a perfect candidate for the procedure, or we may discover that they're a perfect candidate for a different procedure than the one they thought they wanted to have. It's not my goal to change their mind, but it's not my goal to just say yes. So my job is principally that, at first, of an educator, to try to help the patient figure out what's possible and then what the consequences are uh, if we decide to go ahead with it.